Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to Lara Tapes. In our previous video, we showed the list of categories and here we showed the edit and delete button. And in today's video, whenever we click on this delete button, we will show a pop-up where we'll show, are you sure you want to delete this? And we'll delete a category here. Now, whenever we click here, nothing happens. So if we go here in our categories index view, so you can see here this delete button component and here inside the delete button component, we have this button and we have passed the URL over here and we have accepted it as a props. Now we want a pop-up here. So for that, let us create another div here since in a view two there can only be one root component and here below we'll create a pop-up and the jet stream already provides us with a pop-up component so if we search for jet confirmation model so if you see here in it is inside the resources js jet stream and it is a confirmation model so let me just make fonts a little bit bigger okay so you can see here the model is over here and it accepts a prop as so and whenever it is true it will show this model and when it is false it will hide this model so let us first import that now let me use it here and let us define it over here now now it has a so prop and we'll also pass so from here and this so will be a data in our this component it will be by default false and whenever we click on this button we'll show it so in this way, whenever we click on this button, it will mark the show as true and it will show this model. And if you see here in this model, so we have slots here over here, title, content and footer. And we can pass these from here and show the data accordingly. Now we want template and in the title, we want to show the delete category. So this is the delete button, which is a component, general component. So we don't want to hard code the category over here. So let us pass a module name from here. So let us define that. And let us define that here in the props as well. And it will be required. And type will be string. And now if we see here there is a content slot as well so let us define that and inside here we want to show the message that are you sure you want to delete this category like this and in the footer we want to show the delete button and close button so for that we have this footer slot and here we'll be showing the two buttons and we already have button from jetstream so if we see here so we have three kinds of button. We have button, danger button, and secondary button. So let us use this secondary button and danger button. So, be, so let us import those as well. Also, let us uh, use the components that is coming from JetStream all as the kebab case and whatever component that we make as a studly case. So let us change this into the kebab case. So I have changed it into the kebab case. And let me also define this in the components over here and let us use those here so here we will show the close or never mind and whenever we click on it we want to hide the model and also let us prevent it and now let us use the danger button for the delete button and also let us give us the class of ml2 which will be margin left two units and let us say delete and also whenever we click on it we want to delete the category item and also we want to do click dot native so which means that whenever we click on this jet danger button so if we go there, danger button it will listen on the event in this button element not on this component okay since this button is not emitting any events from here so we need to do dot native over here also we want to make this button disabled whenever the category is being deleted so let's say disabled equals to so we haven't defined this form currently uh, this will be the inertia form which is provided to us by the jet stream and i'll show you that a little bit later here so whenever a form is being submitted the form dot processing will be 
true and this button will be disabled and also we want to show a little bit of opacity here 25% and whenever form is processing okay now let us also define this form here so here this dot inertia dot form and we will not have any parameters here because the url is already being passed in the props and there is no any parameters here so in the future if you need any parameters then we'll pass it as a prop and use it here if that is needed also we have defined the method here delete item here so let us go ahead and make that method here so in this method we just want to submit the form this dot form dot delete this dot url so this delete method is provided to us by this form object and we are calling this delete method over here because if we look here and if we see here so there is a delete method here for the route yeah for for deleting the categories so this will be the url and this will be categories dot destroy and it will call this destroy method in the categories controller so that's why we have added it here delete it will automatically call the url with the delete method with it now let us go to this categories index space and let us pass the module name over here and let us call it category also now let me run the npm run watch so this is the alias for npm run watch here so it is saying me that it can't resolve this jstream jet confirmation model so let us go to that delete button over here and this is not the jet confirmation model it is just the confirmation model so let me remove this jet from here as well as from all these other components as well so because if you look here there is only confirmation model here yeah and also you can see here all the other components over here like this secondary button and danger button are also over here okay it's now successfully built now if i go here in the browser and refresh the page let me see what i get here now let me also open the console and now let me click on this here so you can see here we are getting this delete category are you sure you want to delete this category so now let us go to the controller and let us define the destroy method over there and here we will get the category id so we can say category category and it will automatically give us the category model by finding the category using that id by the route model binding and now here we just want to delete the category after deleting the category we will redirect back to the same page with a message so we have done this also before that let us see whether we are coming to this page or not so let's say dd here and one two three four let's say and let me click on this delete and you can see here we are visiting to that route so let me remove this here and if i click on the never mind it is not closing so let us do that as well first mm, here delete button and whenever we click on this and let's say here native over here and i refresh the page and whenever i click on this and click on never mind now that is closed now i am deleting this one which is starting from this m yeah now whenever i click on this delete and this delete so you can see here that is already deleted but we are not getting any messages over here so let us do that now we have already returned a message here category deleted successfully but it is not being displayed so let's do that for now so first what we have to understand is whenever we do this with success and send a message it will flash our data to a session and now we have to make sure that this data will be available to our view so for that let us go to this app service provider and whenever there is a flash data in the session we want to return something to our view so for that we have to go in this boot method in the app service provider which is inside this app providers folder and we can do here is inertia and it is imported over here and we can call here share and let us call it flash and we have to give it a closer over here 
and now we have to return some data so let's say success success here we have given the name here success so let us also give it over here and now we have to get the data as session success and this key must match the key over here so this can be any name that you want to give but this name must match with this key because this will be flashed to the session and we are getting it over here let's say in the future we also want some failure data then we can also do it like this so let us keep this like this and now if we delete something from here we want to show a flash message saying the message that we have passed from here so for that also let us create a component so for that let us go to app layout inside the resources js layouts and here we have page content over here the slot so let us define that component over here flash message and now let us define this component inside this components folder and let us create a view component and inside here let us add some design in every component we will get dollar page variable and whenever we pass data like this inertia share we will get this whatever we defined here as a key in dollar page okay and we can show it here like this so like dollar page dot flash dot success and we'll show if that exists and like this and also let me give some classes over here so i have given these classes now let me go to the categories controller and let me comment this delete so whenever we click on that delete we don't want to delete it for now we just want to see the message and now if i go here in the browser and refresh the page and now let me click on this delete and if i click on the delete we are not getting anything now let me see the console over here so it is saying that we have unregistered this flash message so let me go to this app layout over here and let me register that component over here so i have done this now let me go to the browser now let me click on this delete and you can see here we are getting this category deleted successfully message over here so let me explain one more time this so whenever we click on this delete button we will go to this categories destroy method and it will delete for now we have commented this it will delete a category and then it will redirect us back to this categories index space with a success flash and in the app service provider we are catching that so app service provider will always run whenever we send a request so we are catching that over here and we are giving it a name as a flash and we are getting this success over here and we are assigning it to a success key this one and if there is any failure then in the future if you want that key then we are also doing that as well now when we do this in every Vue.js file we will be getting this flash as a property in dollar page so if we go here in this so as this dollar page we'll be getting this flash key and inside that flash key we have this success so whenever there is a success key then it will show this and because of that it is this category deletes is successfully is being shown here so now we also want to hide this so let us add a cross icon over here and whenever we click on that we want to hide this message so for that let us go to hero icons .deb and let us take a delete this cross icon over here and we also want to show them side by side the message and that cross icon so let us give here div and let us give a button over here and let us add that svg icon over here like this and let us also give here w4 and h4 and let us give your class ml dash for some margin left and now let us give this if check over here and also we want to show this if there is a success as well as if there is a failure so we can say here if success or failure and if there is a success we will show this and if there is a failure we will show here failure 
and also if we can see here the there is a background green so if there is a success we want to show this green and if there is a failure we want to show this uh, red background so let us do that as well let me remove this and let me define an object here like this so if there is success then we'll show this and if there is failure we will show red and now whenever we click on this portal we want to hide this so let's say whenever we click on this button hide flash message now let us define that method over here like this and here we want to reset that message flash message and let us also remove all those things that we don't need this and this so now let us go to the browser over here and let me refresh the page and let us try to delete one more time so if i click on the delete like this so it is saying this invalid handler for click and if we go here in the flash message oh yeah we have done it in the computer we have to do it in the methods like this so let me again refresh the page and let me try to delete one more time so you can see here we are getting this category deleted successfully and there is a cross button and whenever i click on this so that is gone so that is gone because we have set this into empty string and whenever there is no data in the success or failure so we will not show this and if on there is data there then only we will be showing this and also let us test the failure here and now again if i try to delete so you can see here we are getting this red so let me change this to success one more time and delete let me uncomment this and we have this here so let us try to delete this one more time and you can see here it is gone and we are also seeing this message over here and you can see here this edit and delete button are not aligned so it is a little bit above here so let us go to this delete button over here so and let us give some class here flex and items center now let me refresh the page here so you can see here they are aligned properly and if i click on here so it is also showing properly so let me close this so now we are able to delete a category whenever we click on this delete button and also we can use this delete button in every other pages where we want because we have defined it as a component and also we are using it over here index like a component so we can use it in any other views like this so that's it for this video guys and in the next video we'll be creating the pagination over here and we'll also be making a component for that so that's it for this video guys thank you for watching have a great day bye